On an electric vehicle, or EV, the instrument cluster is unique compared to a conventional instrument cluster. It displays distance to empty. It has a power charge gauge, battery state of charge indicator, regenerative braking level indicator, and an electric energy economy indicator. To adjust the instrument cluster illumination with the headlamps on, press and hold the plus to increase illumination, or press and hold minus to dim the display. The power charge gauge shows the energy consumption rate as well as the charging status of the regenerative brakes. Power displays the current energy consumption rate when accelerating or driving up a hill. The more electric energy used, the higher the gauge level. Charge shows the charging status of the battery when it's being charged by the regenerative brakes when decelerating or going downhill. The more electric energy is charged, the lower the gauge level. State of charge shows the charging status of the high voltage battery. If it shows 100%, that means it's fully charged. Before you start on a trip, check to see if there is enough charge to reach your destination. When the remaining battery power is lower than 10%, a warning light comes on and the vehicle can drive an additional 18 to 25 miles, depending on the driving speed, driving style, and the use of the heater or air conditioner. When the range goes below 25 miles, the vehicle speed is limited. If this warning light comes on, charge the vehicle as soon as possible. The gear shift indicator is like a typical vehicle displaying the current position of the transmission, park, reverse, neutral, and drive. The regenerative braking level indicator indicates the level of regenerative braking that has been set. Watch the video on regenerative braking that goes into detail about how to set the regenerative braking level. There is an LCD display in the center of the instrument panel. The LCD display modes can be changed by using the control button on the steering wheel. Use the mode button to change items. Then use the up and down arrows to switch between the different features. Pressing the OK button allows you to either select or set the selected item. There are several different LCD modes that you can choose by pressing the mode button. To get to driving assist mode, press the mode button then press the OK button to enter driving assist. Press the OK button up or down to cycle through the features, driver attention warning, and lane safety information. Trip computer mode displays your drive information, after recharging information, and accumulative information. To reset after recharging information and accumulative information, press and hold the OK button. Turn-by-turn -turn mode provides you with route guidance as well as destination information on vehicles equipped with navigation. When you select information mode, you can access tire pressure information. There is also a master warning mode that displays warning messages when one or more of the systems are not operating normally. These can include LED headlamp malfunction, lamp malfunction, or high beam assist malfunction if equipped. When the malfunction is resolved, the master warning light turns off. To change the instrument cluster theme, go to the infotainment system screen and press setup. Then go to vehicle, scroll down to cluster, and press cluster theme selection. You have different themes to choose from and each one is unique. If equipped, there's also link to drive mode. When this is checked, each time you change the drive mode, it automatically changes the instrument cluster theme. For additional information, please refer to your owner's manual, the Kia Features and Functions Guide, or the Kia Features and Functions Videos YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.